Hey everybody, it's Jimbo and welcome back to another lesson of Introduction to Corn Shell. Today we're going to go over a practical use of the Corn Shell Reserved Variable Random. Our program for today is random2.ksh. It goes over a practical use for the Corn Shell Reserved Variable Random. And just a reminder, the random variable, every time you access it, it will have a value in it between 0 and 32,767. Technically, it's not a totally random variable because it does have those constraints on it. However, it's random enough for us, for our purposes that we're going to use it for. And also, just as a reminder, every time you call that variable or try to access the value within it, it's going to have a different value, which will be between those two values right there. Well. Say we want to create a craps program that lets us play dice. We're going to need a six-sided die. Well, one thing we could do is we could call this random variable here, and we could say, you know what? We're only interested in values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So any other value than that, just ignore it and keep on calling that random variable until you get a 1 through 6. That could get very time-consuming. So we're going to do it a little bit differently and a little bit more efficiently. How do we create a random number from 1 to 6? Well, we are going to look at the corn shell math operator called the remainder operator. And it is a percent sign. And what it does is when you divide a number by another number, it gives you the remainder left over, not the quotient, not the answer. So, for example, if you take 38 and you divide it by 6 and you say, I only want the remainder, I'm only interested in the remainder, your answer is 2. If you take 39 and you divide it by 6 and you say, I want the remainder left over, you're going to get 3. 40 divided by 6, the remainder is 4. 41 divided by 6, the remainder is 5. 42 divided by 6, there's going to be no remainder because it goes in 7 times evenly. And 43 divided by 6, the remainder is 1. And if we did 44 divided by 6, the remainder would be 2. So what you can see here is that when you divide a number by 6, the remainder is always going to be 0 through 5. So now we have a way to create a random number. All we need to do is take the remainder and add 1 to it. And that will get us our 1 to 6 values. Basically, the remainder is going to be 0 to 5. Therefore, take the remainder and add 1 to it. Let's take a look at the actual example here. So this first statement, it's a big statement, let's break it down. We have the double parenthesis at the beginning and at the end. That means we're doing math inside. And what that then says is variable 1 will be equal to whatever math this comes out to be. And on the right hand side we have call the corn shell reserved variable random and divide it by 6 and give me the remainder and plop it down right here where these parentheses are and then add 1 to it. And the second one, second math statement, we have our parentheses, so we're doing math once again. We're saying variable 2 is going to be equal to this whole statement right here. And we have parentheses here, so we go inside of those parentheses. And inside that it says dollar sign random, so we call the corn shell reserved variable random. Get a number back and divide it by 6 and tell me what the remainder is. The remainder is always going to be 0 to 5. So this is always going to be 0 to 5, and you add 1 to it. So this result here, which gets assigned to var2, 
is always going to be 1 to 6. And then afterwards, we just say, hey, print var1 and var2. And as you can see, they both have the same math in them. However, the important thing to note is we are calling random variable twice. So this value and this value should be different. Let's run the program. Okay, there's random2.ksh, a 5 and a 1 is 6, and if I remember dice correctly, you have to get that number before you get a 7. So we will run our program again. An 8, an 11, and a 7. So I lose. But as you can see, it did create numbers between 1 and 6 all the time. And so this is a practical use for our random number generator.